Hello folks, this is Kerry. Uh, the big news today on spaceweather.com. There's a uh, comet that's coming in uh, close to Earth. Uh, so uh, space weather here says, Approaching comet, Green Comet 103P Hartley 2 is approaching Earth for a close encounter on October 20th. At that time, the comet will be only 11 million miles from Earth and should be dimly visible to the naked eye from dark sky sites. It already looks great through backyard telescopes. Italian amateur astronomer Tony Scarmato took this picture on September 29th using a 10-inch reflector. So here's the comet there. It's next to a bright star that is said to be 6th magnitude. And uh, so it's going to be getting closer to Earth. So it look, should look pretty good. You should be able to spot it in binoculars. Uh, or if you're in a very dark sky, you can see it with the naked eye. And uh, this has been on my calendar. If you go to my webpage, click on my calendar. This is October, so here it is, uh, October 21st. There it is, Comet 103P Hartley near Earth flyby, 0.121 AU astronomical units. One astronomical unit is 93 million miles, so multiply that by 0 0.121. And that's going to be pretty close to Earth. It's only just over one tenth of the distance to the Sun. So it's going to be pretty close. Uh, so here's where it's going to be in the sky. Uh, this is for tonight. This is October 1st. Um, this is looking to the northeast about 10 o'clock. Um, I got this set for Middle America. Hopefully that's where a lot of you people are looking for, uh, looking from. This is for Memphis, Tennessee. So. If you're around the same latitude as Memphis, Tennessee, this should be pretty good. Uh, just about anywhere in the world, it should be pretty good. So uh, here it is up here by the constellation, constellation Cassiopeia. Here's Polaris, the North Star over here. So Cassiopeia is the big W. And there's the comet right there. And uh, this program here shows that right now it's a magnitude 5.7. So that's... Uh, that's naked eye. Naked eye is uh, magnitude 6 to 6.5. Any number less than that, you should be able to see with the naked eye as long as you're in a dark location. And here's the distance from Earth. 0 0.178 AU astronomical units. So that's right now. And so I'll show you uh, where it's going to be tracking through the sky from night to night. Each time I click here, it's going to move the program forward uh, one day. So there it is the next day. And moving on, October 6th, going into Perseus. Getting closer to Earth, it's coming up on the bright star, very bright star, Capella, in the constellation Auriga. And so here it is, uh, now it its distance from Earth is only 0 0.121 astronomical units and it's a magnitude 4.5 so that should be very easy to see with the naked eye um, the tail should be pointing away from the Sun uh, this is north so west is uh, over this way so the Sun is down here um, blowing the tail back in the opposite direction from the Sun the solar wind is blowing the tail back uh, the tail doesn't indicate the uh, direction in which the comet moves because the comet is moving this way. The tail indicates the direction to the sun or actually the opposite direction. The solar wind will be blowing the tail in the opposite direction. So moving on through the constellation Auriga, heading down to Gemini and Orion. And so here we are, October 30th. It's passed over the ecliptic, moving into the southern sky. Uh, it's rising uh, later. The time that I had set for here was 10 p.m. So 
here it is 10 p.m. on October 30th it's barely above the horizon in the east at 10 p.m. where uh, earlier in the month it was higher up in the sky at 10 p.m. so going back to today first here it is up here in Cassiopeia well above the horizon at 10 p.m. so look out for that it's comment 103 P Hartley 2. The P means it's a periodic comet, which means that it's been around the sun before. We've seen it go around the sun a couple of times already, so we consider it a periodic comet. Uh, means that it comes back in a certain period, and we've seen it do that before. So 103 P Hartley 2. In the sky, visible to the naked eye, or definitely with binoculars or a small telescope. Uh, for the month of October.